This is Twit. We've got an email from listener viewer. We love email. Um, Matt Lucas writes in, this is the community that has my answer, I'm sure. I have an app idea, just like everybody else. I am a QA engineer for Java-based web applications in the telecommunications area. I want to outsource my app development, but I don't know where to go, who, who to go to, or where to start. I am familiar, very familiar with the software development lifecycle and the basics of dev work, but who can develop my app on a shoestring budget and do an awesome job? What's the best way to tackle this? Consignment, sell the app idea, learn to program, go with a seasoned pro who does this kind of thing all the time. Help me, AAA community. You are my only hope. Um, oh, sorry. This was uh, this That's actually was posted onto onto the the AAA Google Plus page. I apologize. This was no, not my me. my no. apology. I forgot to put that in there. Yeah. No problem. No problem. So. So Matt, you're a QA engineer for Java-based uh, uh, web applications. Web applications. So that's great um, because you know that means you know what you're talking about. So I have I have a little rant. I'll try to I'll try to constrain it. I think that that a lot of people have app ideas, and I think for people who aren't in the business of making software, I think that people sort of really um, have a misperception about like what making an app takes. I mean, I think there's there's even like a Big Bang Theory episode where the, the guys decide to make an app and they do it in like a couple of nights. And the reality is, and you know this because you're, you're a QA tester, you're a QA engineer, making software is a big commitment. It requires a lot of different specialized skills. And you know, it's not just writing code, it's graphic design, it's user experience, it's writing copy, it's writing, you know, it's doing marketing, it's testing. Um, so here's my here's my advice for you. Um, I think that you can absolutely outsource your app development to an overseas team, or you can find a student who's really good but really cheap to, to do it for you. I don't think that's the best road to go down, though. Um, I have had I had a friend who outsourced his you know web app development to to a team overseas, and and they they, they delivered something that totally worked, but. When he had to maintain the code, it was really difficult to maintain. He got a lot of spaghetti code. Uh, it was really difficult, you know, managing someone remotely. And it's not just shipping your app, right? Like once you ship, you have to maintain. You have to fix bugs. You got to keep making it better. Um, and you know, developing an app on a shoestring budget. I don't really know what shoestring budget means to you, but just just kind of level set. Real talk. Uh, there's this indie web dev shop here in San Diego who makes mobile apps, and I was talking to them, and they get RFPs all the time from people who say, "You know, I have this app idea. Uh, you know, how much would it how much would it take?" And they, from the get go, they say, "If you're not expect to pay at least ten grand for for the whole full service soup to nuts, you know, ha have an app idea, build the whole app, upload it, you know, marketing. So so ten grand. That's that's a, that's a lot of cash. I'm sure that you don't have nearly as much cash." My advice to you, since you work in QA for a Java-based web application, uh, you have to know Java programmers. If I were you, I would find a friend, a coworker, someone who you can pitch your app idea and collaborate with and barter. Babysit their kids, take them out to dinner, set up some sort of rev share deal with them if you're going to do advertising or charge for your app, um, and work together on the app. You're going to have to do things like you know graphic design and copywriting. I mean, for for for, for graphics, of course, you know we have a great sponsor on the show. And you can do something like 99 Designs and get get great art that way. Um, but you're going to kind of have to beg, borrow, and steal. But I would definitely uh, recommend if you as much as you can working with a seasoned pro uh, who you know, you know. Um, preferably a collaborator, someone who can help you maintain and bug fix and keep making it better. And hey, if you're if you're motivated enough, I would definitely recommend you learning to code, especially if you do QA, because it'll help you on your job as well. Um, so best of luck, best of luck with your app. I'm really curious about your idea. I always want to hear about the idea. Uh, and um, yeah, good luck to you. I hope that was a little bit helpful. Well, I've I don't think we've ever had such a home run of a answer. I know. Look at that. <laughs> Like we're both sitting here, just like wow. We're like wow. You were you were the perfect person to answer that question. That was, obviously, I have a lot of feelings. I have a lot of feelings about the I have an app idea. How do I build it on no money? Question. Because right. I get that a lot. We get that a lot. Yeah, I'm sure you were uh, spot on. Everything you said has been exactly concurrent with every experience I've had, whether it's app development or website development or whatever. I totally I agree with you 100. percent So, somebody else Thanks. in the chat room said um, getting them drunk might help. Too. <laughs> so there you go. There's that. You might like Mold the their best lawns, app, babysit their kids, yeah. take them out for dinner. <laughs> do you know whatever you can do for them? Do it. Bar bartering is actually, I think, a really good or rev sharing and bartering. I think is a really good way to team up with someone, a collaborator. Yeah. Also, I think building something it's great to have a partner, a collaborator, or a co-founder. Absolutely. Um, just in, in, in anything creative, I, I don't create apps, but anything creative, it's nice to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. Yeah. It actually <laughs> creates momentum. Whereas when you're Definitely. by yourself, it's very easy to hit that roadblock. And 
Yeah. That's enough to stop you. But that, that's that said, and, and just to play devil's advocate, I'm not disagreeing, but I'm saying that they every every path that has been laid out has a challenges. Like if you sure. outsource, yeah. like Gina said, like if you outsource something to India or, or to somewhere else, you've got all the problems that come with that and the upkeep and the maintain, maintenance, stuff like that. But if you have your brilliant idea and you team up with somebody and they flake on you and your idea is stuck with them because they've half written the code and then you want to go work somebody else and they don't want to let go of it or whatever, that can get really scary too. So my advice to you is that if you do find someone to collaborate, just do a one pager that explains everything and, and, and jot everything down. Do it in advance. It's, it makes things much easier down the road. And if you've ever seen the Facebook movie, you can get a sense of what, you know, at least <laughs> if something was on paper that says, I get this, you get that or whatever, well, whether it works in court or not, at least it will make the, the bumpy part, if it goes negatively, a little easier to deal with. But I definitely do agree collaborating is the way to go. It's just you got to find the right person. It's like dating. 